Hi friends, welcome to Cracko's video series. I'm Saili Kale. I'm one of the co-founders of Cracko and an alumna of I'm in the bar. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some difficult problems from CAT on the top uh, from the topic of geometry. Uh, the best way to prepare for CAT is uh, to try to practice as many different types of questions as possible. In geometry, it's firstly important to have a good fundamental understanding of all the concepts, all the formulae that are involved and secondly to put in consistent efforts to prepare for geometry. You should be solving problems throughout the year for you to have a very good hold on geometry. So what we recommend is that uh, not only should you read uh, the concepts that are involved, not only should you see videos that explain the fundamental concepts and the theorems and the formulae that are involved, you should also solve every single previous year question that comes from geometry. So this is our effort to help you solve all the previous year's papers questions from geometry. In this uh, particular video, we will be solving a few important questions from geometry that appeared in uh, previous CAT papers. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the following uh, CAT question, uh, uh, question from geometry from CAT 2018. A triangle ABC has area 32 square units and its side BC of length 8 units lies on the line x is equal to 4. Then the shortest possible distance between A and the point 0 comma 0 is. So let's try to draw this out. So let's say this is the x axis, this is the y axis. This is x equal to 4. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3. This is x equal to 4. Essentially, this is the line x equal to 4. The triangle has area 32 square units and its side BC of length 8 lies on the line x equal to 4. Find the shortest possible distance between A and the point 0, 0. So, the point 0, 0 is over here. So, what has been given is that area is 32 square units and the base BC is 8 units. So, the base is on this line and uh, the area is also fixed. So, I can say that the height of the triangle from A to this line BC will be height will be uh, area is equal to half into base into height. The base is 8 units, area is 32 square units, so height would be half into 8 into h. So, this is 4, so h is 8 units. So, distance of A from this line, so vertical or like horizontal distance essentially because it is height, so it will be essentially distance along the x axis. So, what is the distance along the x axis? That is the height of the triangle. That I find out to be 8 units. Therefore, uh, the vertical dis uh, therefore the like perpendicular distance of A from this line x is equal to 4 is 8 units. This means that the uh, uh, x coordinate of, uh, uh, of A must be 8 units uh, to the right of uh, to the left of the line x is equal to 4. So the x coordinate of A should be minus 4 because that would mean that uh, the point A the if I drop the perpendicular only then would this be 8 units. So, if I count 8 units to the left of x is equal to 4, I get x is equal to minus 4. So, the x coordinate of point A is minus 4. Now, I have to find uh, the, uh, sh the uh, shortest possible distance between A and 0 comma 0. Now, if A is over here, then you have this distance plus the vertical distance. If A is over here, then again you have this distance plus the vertical distance. So, what would be the shortest distance possible? The shortest distance possible is if there is no vertical displacement. That is, if x is on the, uh, if A is on the x axis, then there is only this distance. For example, if A is say uh, minus 4 comma 4, then you would have this 4 units plus these 4 units. So, you will have something like square root of 4 square plus 4 square. Again, if this is A, which is uh, say minus 4 comma 6, then the distance would be 4 square plus 6 square because 6 units of vertical distance and 4 units of horizontal distance. So, that would be 6 square plus 4 square. So, the minimum distance between A and the origin would be if A is on the x axis over here. So, its coordinates would be minus 4 comma 0. So, the triangle will be of this sort minus 4 comma 0 and uh, this is x is equal to 4 and you have a triangle of this sort. So, what is the shorter distance of A 4 comma minus 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 0? The shortest distance between them would be 4 units that is the distance over here. So, therefore, the distance between the shortest possible distance between A and 0, 0 is 4 units. 
So this is how we solve question. Uh, we had the area, we had the length of the base, so we could infer the length, the height of the triangle. Once you have the height of the triangle, you have to figure out that essentially the vertex A is uh, 8 units away from line X is equal to 4. So you got its A is X coordinate. Once you had the X coordinate to minimize distance, you got that it should lie on the X axis and then you could easily figure out the distance between A and the origin. So this is how we solve this particular question. Now let's go on to the next question. A chord of length 5 cm subtends an angle of 60 degrees at the center of a circle. The length in centimeter of a chord that subtends an angle of 120 degrees at the center of the circle is what? So let's first draw the uh, current configuration. So we have this uh, chord which is of 5 cm in length and it is subtending an angle of 60 degrees. So each of these must be, uh, if I, this is, uh, I draw the perpendicular uh, bisector from the center of the circle. So essentially the uh, line joining the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord uh, is a perpendicular bisector on the chord. So if this is the chord AB and the bisector is um, M, so OM essentially is a perpendicular bisector of AB. So since the length of chord AB is 5 cm, this should be 2.5 cm, this should be 2.5 cm. Uh, this angle is 60 degrees, so this angle should be 30 degrees. So what can I say? What can I say about the radius of the circle if this is two and a half centimeter? Then uh, the two and a half centimeters is radius that is r cos uh, sine 30. Sine 30 is half, so radius must be five centimeter. So I get the radius of the circle as five centimeter. Now if the uh, angle subtended at the center is 120 degrees. We get some case like this or let me draw it with a different color so it becomes clearer. So if it is 120 degrees, I get a second case like this where let us say this is CD. Now this angle is 60 degrees, R still is 5 centimeters. If R is 5 centimeters, then what would be, uh, let this midpoint be say N. So what would be DN, DN would be, uh, length DN would be R sin 60 degrees that is half of 120 degrees that is since you are forming two equal uh, triangles the half of this angle would be half of 120 that is 60. So what is dn that is uh, half of the chord would be uh, 5 centimeter into sin th uh, 60 degrees that is root 3 by 2. So you get 5 root 3 by 2 centimeters as dn. Uh, since on will also be a perpendicular bisector of CD because any uh, line joining the midpoint of the chord with the center is a perpendicular bisector of the chord. Therefore, CD will be 2 times DN. So, CD will be 2 times 5 root 3 by 2 that is 5 root 3 centimeters. So, the right answer is option A 5 root 3 centimeters. So, as you could see this required us very simple basic knowledge that uh, the line joining the center of the circle uh, to the uh, midpoint of the chord is a perpendicular bisector of the chord. If you knew that then it became a simple question of uh, uh, employing simple trigonometric formulae to find out the missing values as such. So this is a pretty simple question if provided you knew the basic theorem that uh, the line joining the center of the circle to the midpoint of the chord becomes a perpendicular bisector of the chord. So this is how we solve questions based on circles and triangles. Uh, now let's take a look at more questions of this topic in further videos. Thank you for tuning in.